Hello and welcome back. This is video number two, and we're going to talk about the seven image optimization checklist. So from here on out, we are going to dive into some practical application. What I'm going to be doing in the future videos is really reverse engineering things in Google image search so that you have a better idea of why things are the way they are and you have a better mental picture, a visual picture of what's happening. So what I'm going to do now is simply go through the checklist of the seven items. I'm going to briefly talk about each one, but I'm not really going to dive into it. That's the purpose of the videos after that. So the first one is wrapping content. So to give you an example, I went to google.com. I typed in pizza recipe. And what I want to do is look at the images here. And what I'm trying to look for is why the images here are at the very top. And that might change from niche to niche. So let's just go ahead and click on these right here. I'm going to open this one up and open this one up in a new tab. And I'm going to go ahead and click on visit. Now, whenever we do this in the reverse engineering process, I want you to load the blog that the image is, is located on. And then of course, look for the image. So the image is here. So the first item of the checklist is wrapping content. In other words, the content that is surrounding this image is crucial. And we'll talk about why it's crucial, what your content needs to look like, what needs it needs to be, what kind of keywords you should use surrounding this image. That's the first one. Then of course, the second one is file format conversion, meaning the image right here, what type of file format is it? Is it the right kind? Should we turn it into a different format? What are different formats are available out there? why they're important and all that. The next one on the list, the number three is image resizing. So another question you might have is, well, how big should the image be? Should it be 1000 by 1000? What should it be a smaller size? What should that be? So we'll talk more about that in that video. And we'll do a little bit of reverse engineering in each one of these videos so that you have a better visual picture of why things are the way they are. And then of course, the next one after that is file compression. Believe it or not, what we found over the years is the reason why most websites don't load or don't rank really well is because their images just take a lot of space. So in this case, we want to take a look at is the size too big and how can we compress it without losing too much quality and get ranked high for that image. The next one on the checklist is the file name and the page URL. So if we right click here on the image itself, and sometimes it won't let us, but in this case, if we right click and we open the image in a new tab, the name of the file of the image is crucial. It's very important. And I'm going to show you why in that video. And if it's not, you know, most, images are just a bunch of gibberish. If it is gibberish, what do we do in that case? How do we make it optimized? The next one after that is the alt tag. The alt tag is what tells Google what the image is all about, but that's just one variable out of this whole checklist. And then of course, last but not least, after I talk about each one of these checklist items, I want to show you how to automate the process. But before we talk about how to automate the process, I want to teach you how to do each step manually, because it, if you don't understand each step and the process behind it, and you jump to the automated process, then what that's going to do is it's just going to taint things and you're not going to be as effective. So we want to make sure that you're effective. You get the rankings that you are trying to achieve and go from there. All right. So with that said, let's move on to the next video.